you know how huge metro tunnels are built deep underground? A precise system of machines digs and shapes the tunnels safely. Engineers first plan the tunnel path. The route must avoid buildings, pipes, and weak soil while staying at the right depth. The soil beneath the city is tested. Different layers, like sand, clay, and rock, determine how the tunnel will be built. To dig long tunnels, factories use a giant tunnel boring machine, or TBM. Its rotating head cuts through earth like a huge drill. The cutter head breaks the soil into small pieces. A conveyor belt inside the TBM carries the removed soil backward. Behind the cutter head, concrete ring segments are installed. These pieces lock together to form a strong, circular tunnel wall. Grout is injected around the tunnel walls. This fills empty spaces and prevents the ground from shifting. The dug-up soil travels out of the tunnel on long conveyor belts. This keeps the digging area clean and moving forward. Ventilation ducts are added to supply fresh air. They push clean air in and pull used air out while the tunnel is being built. A drainage system is installed under the floor. These pipes collect groundwater and prevent flooding inside the tunnel. Next, power cables and communication lines are added. These systems support lighting, signals, and equipment inside the tunnel. A smooth concrete base is built along the tunnel floor. This foundation will support the tracks and keep them perfectly aligned. Steel rails are installed on top of the base. These rails guide the metro safely through the tunnel at high speeds. The tunnel is lined with sensors, lights, and safety walkways. These systems help monitor the tunnel and protect passengers. And that's how huge metro tunnels are built underground. A precise process that keeps cities connected safely and efficiently.